Well guys, welcome back to the channel. We are just got to Oklahoma. So that means one thing, we're heading to Grand Lake for the Cherokees. The first stop of the Solo Pro Series of 2021. This is actually our second stop and our first stop because our first tournament at Table Rock got postponed due to the ice. So this is actually supposed to be our second stop, but it's going to be our first stop and we're going to make up Table Rock later in the year sometime. So anyway, I'm heading to Grand Lake, Oklahoma. Not much of a travel vlog. I didn't want to bore you guys with the drive. We're about uh, 45 minutes out before we get to the uh, boat ramp. I'm going to put in. I'm only going to have about five hours to go look around. I've never been on Grand Lake before. My first time. Work and everything. I I just had to leave early this morning. So anyway, I'm gonna have a few hours to try to figure this lake out, and uh, I'm just gonna think my game plan going in. I'm just gonna go find a certain area of the lake, and I'm gonna concentrate on it. Uh, the weather's been good for the last week. It's been warm, so I think the fish are gonna start moving up. We'll see what happens. Hey everybody, we got to Grand Lake. We got to the uh, little resort here. The I just want to show you the little bedroom we got here. Nice little place. Got the bathroom in there. Got the little couch. Love seat. So I got the boat right out that window right there. Plugged in, getting charged up. I went out practicing today. I got like five hours on the lake. No bueno for me today. No bites. It's been pretty tough here at Grand Lake from other guys I talked to. But tomorrow's a new day. It's the first stop of the Solo Pro Series. Grand Lake, Oklahoma. I'm going to hit the sack and we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Well, here we go. We're Grand Lake, Oklahoma for the first stop of the Solo Pro Series. Well, it looks like we got about 134, 35 boats, something like that. So uh, the bite on Grand has been tough from everybody that's been down here for two or three days. I got down here yesterday, like I said, about five hours. Uh, I practiced yesterday and uh, obviously I didn't get a bite. Never been on the lake first time. We're going to give her heck, see what happens. I got spinnerbait. I'm hoping that the fish start moving up. I can catch them on a spinnerbait. We got some deep diving crankbaits. We got some jigs. You know, we got bladed jigs. We got jerk baits if I can find some cleaner uh, water. But, uh, you know, I found. I found 49 degree water yesterday. And that's the highest I found. So anyway, let's see what happens and uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we can bring you some fish catches.
we got a midday update. It's actually 1.30. I've got, had a bite on a chatterbait, just a quick bump. And then I had another bite on a crankbait, which I had him for a minute and then he come off. So never did see it, but anyway, that's all I got today. I don't have to check in till 3.40, so I've got about two hours to go, but uh, you know, I'm gonna go back to where the warmer water is. I had 50 degrees earlier and I came down this way hoping I'd find some warmer water and I was just finding, you know, finding 42 to 45 up this way. So I'm gonna head back towards uh, Wolf Creek and uh, you know, I'm gonna head back down to where I was at this morning. Go to that 50 degree water and see if uh, I can get an afternoon bite in a couple spots. See what happens. We'll see you in a minute. got back from Grand Lake, Oklahoma. As you've seen in the casting video I just showed you, there wasn't much going on for me. I was there for five hours for practice Saturday. Fish a tournament, I think 116 boats. I didn't have a fish, didn't have, I think I had two bites and uh, that was it. That's what's good about the Solo Pro Series I'm fishing this year is that I can go to uh, six different lakes and try to figure them out. So I hope you enjoy when I bring you the action even though I didn't have any action but that's the way it goes sometimes. But anyway, I'm going to be learning these lakes this year and hopefully put some fish in the boat. You know, since there wasn't any fish to show you, I just kind of want to go over my uh, tow rig and my bass boat for this uh, 2021 Solo Pro Series season. Um, right here I've got a 2011 Ford F-150 STX four-wheel drive. I drove it off the lot brand new in 2011 been a great pickup we got 169,000 miles on it and it runs like a top I just got a service before I went to Oklahoma at a 
Lakes Automotive in Center, Missouri, and they got my oil changed, my tires rotated. And uh, anyway, here it is inside. You know, it's been a pretty good tow vehicle, so here it is right here is the inside. It's pretty clean all the way around. I've got to wipe it down on the inside, but uh, anyway, got a nice back seat area. Got some nice tires on it for when I'm traveling. So. That's my truck. It's nothing fancy. It gets the job done. You know, it's uh, hopefully I can get, you know, 250,000 miles out of it before I got to trade her in and get a new truck. But anyway, it's going to get the job done this season. Pulling, pulling my 2017 Skeeter ZX200. Right here, it's wrapped. Um, I got it wrapped last year. Uh, the hitch and post. Dave Lukemeyer was, uh, he's the one that paid for the wrap, so I appreciate that. So I can advertise some of my sponsors. You know, I got Strike 3 Fishing, Miracles in Progress, 154 Marine, Cool Touch Graphics actually did my wrap. So anyway, you know, I bought this boat brand new in 2017 and uh, it's done the trick so far. So anyway, I got my Garmin uh, 93 SV up here with live scope and i've got a garmin 93 sv uhd up here for my uh, mapping and side imaging down imaging and all that good stuff waypoints and well, the new addition to my skeeter this year is the uh, minn kota all tracks right here and i got to play with it at grand lake for the first time because right after i got it put on this boat the uh, lake iced over and i didn't get to use it so anyway 80 pound thrust right here, old tracks. I tell you what, it was awesome uh, in, in that wind at Grand Lake uh, fishing. I mean, I hit spot lock, I could throw that spinner bait, crankbait, uh, jerk bait around and stay in one spot. I didn't have to worry about drifting off the spot. So, you know, I wish I would have had more time at Grand Lake, but I didn't. You know, I couldn't get off work and all that good stuff. So I, I drove down uh, Saturday morning, had five hours of practice just looking around. So, what I did, I kind of picked a section of the lake that had the warmest water, which I found was like 50 degrees uh, up in the Wolf Creek area. And I just stayed there and I just worked that whole area, you know, and I didn't obviously find any fish in there. So apparently I was in the wrong spot, but you know, it's always good to go to a new lake and try to learn it, but hopefully I can get back and, you know, spend three or four days trying to figure that lake out. But you know, that lake is going to get hot here another week or two. I had a good time at Grand Lake. Also got an eight foot power pole right here on this boat. Come standard with it when I bought it. I got the old Yamaha VMAX 200 horse four stroke show motor right here. Can't beat it. It's quiet. It hasn't let me down in the three years I've owned it. So um, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty good motor right here, the old Yamaha. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I didn't catch any fish at Grand Lake, obviously, but at the same time, I uh, hung out with some good friends of mine that fish the circuit as well. So anyway, I'm going to bring you the struggles of every tournament I go in. You know, I'm going to bring you the good and bad and the ugly on these bass tournaments, and uh, this happens to be an ugly one. You know, anyway, I'm looking forward to getting back to Grand Lake uh, one of these days soon, and... Our next stop on the Solo Pro Series is March 28th at Lake of the Ozarks. You know, and that tournament ought to set up really well. You know, water temperature hopefully gets up there in the mid 50s and uh, get on that spinnerbait bite, probably a jerk bait. And uh, I'll have a little more practice time down there because it's only a couple hours away from the house. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. See you guys on the next one. Take care of yourself. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that bell. Get notified when I got content. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.